Hey guys, welcome to another server miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGM007 and today we're looking at the RPG Food plugin. Now this is a fantastic plugin which allows you to create, customize and just make up brand new foods out of thin air. You can do so much with them. You can change the texture, the color codes, the laws, the effects and everything in between and the crafting recipes. So first of all we're going to look at the three ones we have by default. There is a burger on the plate and it has different effects and you can see a really cool texture. Then if we go to the candy bread, this is also really cool. It has different effects, it has slowness, and it has a really interesting texture and law. Uh, you can see the color code is also different. We can change all of this. And finally, the world favorite Coca-Cola, and that obviously has speed, so it makes you very hyperactive if you drink it. And it has health and hunger as well, and is a different texture and different color. So those are the three you can get by default and the way to get that is two ways so you can do four slash rpg food give someone's username and then the item name such as burger and then the amount so that will give you one obviously if you're an admin you can do this uh, you can change the item to coca-cola if you want uh, like so and that will give us a new one but if you want to do this legitly you will have to craft them and as i mentioned earlier you can change the crafting recipe uh, to whatever you want uh, which is really awesome but if you do full slash RPG food and then info, it will tell you a bit about the plugin. So it's created by Night Express and it's version 2.2.4. And it's working on the most recent version of Minecraft. So if we go in the crafting bench, we can create a burger. Now you've probably seen a burger created in real life. So you put the buns on the top and the bottom, and then you put the meat in the middle, and then you put like carrots. Well, I don't put carrots, but you know, potatoes um, and veg in between. And then we have the burger. So that's how you create it and then you can start eating it. Now one thing should be noted is there is a setting in the config file which we'll look at. You cannot eat these when your health is full or your hunger is full. Um, so you can disable that if you want to but by default it's on so you would have to jump off a building and lose some hunger in order to eat this. If we do full slash RPG food reload that will reload the plugin and it will show you the item I created. So I created one called Test. It's got sort of a donut look to it. I changed the texture and I also changed the law. So we're going to go into the config file now and show you how to change all of this. So here we are in the RPG food folder and if we go into the config.yml to begin with, there's two things in here. You can prevent people from eating if their hunger and HP are full. Um, so you can turn that on or off if you want, but you don't need to and oh, we've gone all the way back so if we go back into rpg food and go into the messages.yml you can change how the messages look that your players will get whether they are eating an invalid food no permissions or are looking at the help um, information so the main one we want to go into is the food folder and in here will be a list of all the yml files for each food so we have the three that you get by default and the test.yml which is the one i created the best way to do this is to copy and paste an existing food and just tweak it how you want, change the name, change the head and that is how you will do that. So if we go into this one, you can see that I have changed a few things. I've changed the name, I've changed the law, you can change the cooldown and you can change any information about it which is really really cool. So we're going to change this one to salad if I can spell it correctly. Um, and we are going to change the Lord's salad as well. Uh, hopefully we can find a salad head, um, but if we can't, we'll just choose a random one. And then it, we could change the effects, but obviously if you change the effects down here, make sure you change them in the law. You can also change the colors, so it's RGB. Uh, so I'm gonna just put random colors in here as well, whether we want it enchanted or not, and the skull hash. Now this is a bit confusing. You need a really long, complicated numerical and letter code. So if you go onto this, website minecraft-heads.com there are so many different ones you can choose from um, so we can have a look and if we find one we like um, or search once so if we look for salad and if we wait for it to load there we go so there's a couple of salads let's just go for this one once you've clicked on it go to the bottom to the other value and there is the long code click copy and then just paste it in where the old one was so just select the whole thing um, all the way along it's really long and then hit paste and there we go that's all you need to do and then you can make it unbreakable you can have flags as well 
and if we look down here you can change the effects you can put whatever values you want you can put potions particles uh, which is really cool and whether you want commands to happen when people use it uh, so this is fully customizable then you, whether you want people to be able to craft the item um, so you can make this complicated you can disable it completely whatever you want uh, which is really cool or whether people can make it in a furnace finally there is the drop chance so we have the world the entity and you can even use mythic mobs and it prevents it from spawning in you know slime spawners and eggs um, but that is how you edit one of the plugins um, one of the foods Make sure you save it and you can go ahead and reload it in game and see what it looks like. Here we are back in game and if we do forward slash RPG food reload and then forward slash RPG food give by username and then test it will give us the salad that we created so it has the new name, it has the new lore and it has the new look, the new texture that we used. So we can pop it down, we can use it, obviously we didn't change many of the other values but we could have changed it completely. So that gives you an idea of how you can customize this plugin and create as many cool foods and drinks as you want. If you want to download it, there'll be a link down below in the description. If you want to go to the Minecraft Heads website, there'll be a link to that as well. And if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.